Hi there. This is the second in a series of short videos to answer some of the questions that people um, ask about EFT tapping. In case we haven't met, my name is Jenny Clift. I'm a violinist and an EFT tapping coach. Today's video, I want to explore a little bit the history of EFT, so where it came from, how it was developed, and we'll start by telling a little story about a psychologist, a Western trained psychologist based in North America. His name was Dr. Roger Callahan, and he was working with patients, and he, as well as his psychology, he was also interested in Eastern medicine, Chinese medicine and modalities there. One day he was working with a patient who he referred to as Mary, and he'd been working with her for about a year. She had a very severe water phobia, and they really weren't getting very far with it. And they'd done a lot of talking about it, exploring where it came from, but really not a lot was shifting. So one day she was talking to him, they were in a session together, about how she could feel a knot in her stomach and she felt a lot of anxiety in her stomach. And it reminded him of um, one of the points on the end of a Chinese, of one of these meridians, these energy channels that you find in Chinese medicine, um, was the stomach point and it was right here. So just on a whim, he said to her, well, just, while you, just let's try something. While you're talking to me, just try tapping there at the same time. So she was talking to him and tapping here. And suddenly she said to him, it's gone. And he's sort of thinking, what? You know, and thinking, what's gone? The stomach, your tension in your stomach? And she said, no, no, I'm not afraid anymore. And apparently she started running towards his swimming pool. I think they're in California. And, um, and he was going, no, careful, don't, don't, don't jump in, you don't have to swim. No, 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 it's okay. And she started splashing water on herself and she was cured. So that got him thinking. And apparently within a year he'd lost, well, he'd finished with most of his clients. So he started developing a modality which he called um, thought field therapy or TFT. And it used speaking about emotional memories and tapping on different points, acupuncture points or acupressure points. Then after that came an engineer from Stanford called Gary Craig. Now he, he was an engineer, but he was also very interested in, in people, in how uh, their emotional health affected their well-being. And being an engineer, he decided to systemize this. And so instead of having to diagnose every person and decide, um, okay, for this person will tap here, or this person will tap on the collarbone or whatever, he just decided, okay, there's just a series of points which we normally use. Let's just have this system where we just tap around the points. And while we're talking about what we want to process, what we want to clear the kind of emotions, the feelings, and the kind of beliefs that we've created. So he started developing and he gave it the name EFT, which is short for Emotional Freedom Techniques. So with that, there was developed what we call the full recipe, which involves tapping on many different points, there's points here, and also doing different things like humming and rolling your eyes. And so that taps into a lot of different brain type training things and, and helps to clear, especially when, when there's very strong emotions and everything, then we, we will often use the full recipe. And then we have what we call the basic recipe, which is just tapping round. And if you look in my first video, you'll see the different points which are usually used. So who's using it? Nowadays, um, EFT is starting to be used by sports people. And sometimes you'll see, uh, uh, there's a few vid videos on YouTube of, of people, um, baseball players, sort of tapping on points before they go onto the field. Um, Olympic, Olympic um, athletes using EFT. Then we have all kinds of different people, CEOs, actors, musicians, apparently Madonna's really 
a, a great fan of EFT. So many people using EFT. And one thing that Gary Craig used to say was, try it on anything. And this is one of the beauty, for me, it's one of the best things about EFT that you can just pretty much give it a try with anything. So with that basic phrase, even though I, I love and accept myself completely, you can just do anything that's going on for you. So even though I yelled at my daughter this morning, I love and accept myself completely. Or even though I have this pain in my shoulder. So there's just all different kinds of ways you can use it. Nowadays, it's becoming very well known, especially in the States, but in England too, and little by little, all around the world. Um, for example, in America, the Americans, American Veterans Association has approved it to be used to work with um, veterans who are suffering from PTSD. And I will go into the science behind EFT in another video. Um, so that's pretty much where we are today. As I say, right now, the science is growing, so it's not so just anecdotal. And more and more people are finding out about it. So if you have any questions or anything, please comment below and I'll be happy to ask, answer anything. And as I say, in future videos, we'll talk about the science, we'll talk about how you can use it and continue with these questions. So thanks again for watching.